Hi, in this video we're going to take a look at finding the length of missing sides of an object and finding the perimeter of an object. So let's take a look at an example. So using the object below we want to find the lengths of sides A and B and then we're going to find the perimeter of this object. So if you look for A and B, A is the length of the bottom piece of this object and then B is the right hand side, it's the length of the right hand side. So let's start off by finding the length of side A. Now before we do that, let's recognize that side A would be considered horizontal. That just simply means it runs from left to right. Uh, it's flat. So what we want to do to find this length then is to use the other lengths of the horizontal sides. So we can see that this object, the widest point, is at the top. It's 60 feet. So the bottom three pieces that we are looking at, the bottom three horizontal pieces, are 12 feet, A feet, and 20 feet. So once again, you'll notice that these three shorter horizontal pieces must add up to give you 60 feet. Well, the two sides that we know out of the three bottom parts would be the 12 feet and the 20 feet. So that's 32 feet altogether that we know. So if this is out of 60 feet, then if we subtract the two, that's going to give us 28 feet. So 28 feet then is the length of side A. Now if you want to check this answer, all you have to do is add the three uh, lower horizontal pieces together. That's 12 plus 28 plus 20, and that will give you 60 feet. So what about side B? If we want to find the length of side B, the first thing we want to do is recognize that it is a vertical length. So in other words, it's straight up and down. So to find the length of this side, what we want to do is look for the other vertical um, lines or lengths. So if we look at the far left hand side, we can see that we have 36 feet for the lower vertical line, 16 feet for the upper vertical line, and that gives us a total of 52 feet. So from the bottom of this object to the top, the distance is 52 feet. Using the far right hand vertical lines, those lengths must also add up to 52 feet. So we have 28 out of 52, so if we subtract 28 from 52, that gives us 24 feet. So we now know the length of side B is 24 feet. And what about the perimeter? Well, to find the perimeter, you simply add all of the lengths of the sides together. By definition, the perimeter is the distance around the outside edges of an object. So if we add all these numbers together, this is going to give us 224 feet. So the perimeter of this object is 224 feet. So I hope you um, found this video helpful, uh, and thanks for watching. Take care.